All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's interview. Today, I'm talking to the one and only Ryan Daly. You've seen his paint schemes on Ryan Sieg's uh, cars, as well as Starcom Racing. I blinked for a second there, but yeah, that's some <laughs> of his paint schemes. Uh, Ryan, how are you doing today? Doing really well. I really appreciate you having me on tonight and asking me to come on. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to uh, talking with you and uh, doing well. I've just been really, really busy the past few days uh, getting um, a bunch of stuff ready for Daytona. A um, couple paint schemes that uh, we're going to have released here soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's it's been like, it's been all day waking up, working and going to bed. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So we're, we're recording this the last week in January. And uh, I was, uh, I think I told, was telling Sean McGee last week um, that it's cool because this is like Christmas for like NASCAR fans because just every day totally. you're getting different paint schemes dropping. So. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting time. Very exciting time. Uh, so when it comes to like um, people within the sport of NASCAR, especially like designers, um, I, I like to kind of throw it out for you. What came first? Was it a love for like design or graphic design or whatever, or was it a love for NASCAR that came first? Um, I feel like it would probably have to be uh, a love for NASCAR that came first. And I, yeah, I just like remember, um, and maybe they kind of happened at the same time. Uh, but I just remember, um, you know, I'd heard about, you know, this guy, Jeff Gordon, you know, you know I was, I'm born in 92. So like when Jeff Gordon was, was, you know, won in a lot of races, you know, I was five, six, seven years old. And, you know, that stuff's just so cool. And uh, I just remember seeing like his car at uh, like Toys R Us or something uh, and how bright it was. Uh, and like the fact it was a race car, I mean, you know, young kid, that's like everybody loves race cars at some point. Um, but those two things mixed together once, I don't know, just something about it. Like, and ever since that moment, like, I just remember like always having been a fan and, and, and always, of course, always being excited for like this week, uh, of the race season, just like looking at Jay ski and like seeing what all the new paint skis are coming out and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess I'd have to like write at the same time. Cause I mean, I had knew who Jeff Gordon was, uh, you know, um, I, I don't say, I wouldn't say I was really watching it NASCAR, like you know, when I was, like, six yet, but, uh, you know, five, six, something like that, but um, I just remember after I, like, saw that car, and, like, you know, my mom got it for me that day, like, I just remember I was, like, yep, this is, this is pretty cool, I'm gonna have to watch this, <laughs> and the colors definitely, like, you know, played a big part in it, because the DuPont paint scheme, uh, Sand Bass Classic, it's, everybody loves that one, and so, I don't know, I guess it was a mixture of the two, I, I used to draw and stuff uh, when I was a kid, but, um, I, I didn't really start drawing as much until I was really into the racing stuff. So I used to draw race cars when I was a kid. I mean, they're, they're, they weren't very good, but <laughs> it was a start. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I used to, to draw the different cars and design my own cars. But I quickly mm -hmm. learned that my uh, area of expertise were not in, like, art and all. So I was, like, right. way better interview <laughs> people than I am at trying to draw race cars and all. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey. You got to be good at something, and then like, yeah, I think, thank God, like the race car stuff's gone pretty decently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for you, you uh, you know, you you started drawing the cars. You're watching NASCAR. What was kind of your first um, like foray into like motorsports design? I um so I started you know of course started drawing you know cars on paper. I eventually you know just you know being on the internet. You know, as a kid, I eventually, you know, discovered NASCAR racing 2003 season and um, and how that you can, you know, basically recreate cars. And there's a website called inandracing.com and, you know, uh, websites like Sim Racing Design that are still around. Um, and, you know, I basically took what I used to do on paper and I would, you know, recreate cars and uh, for NASCAR racing 2003 season. And I just thought it was so cool that, like, people would download your stuff and like race it and um so i just kind of got used to just creating cars on the computer um and you know kind of did some custom stuff here and there but um my cousin matt he started racing cars uh around raleigh at lake county speedway and um and you know he had a, a car that he raced there and then we ended up getting a limited late model that he raced at south boston and you know he was like needed someone to design the car and you know i had all my nascar racing 2003 stuff i had the late model templates um so i just kind of drew a car up and um he loved it and we got a local sign 
company to print out the wrap and it looked like almost exactly like what I had drawn on his computer. And I was like, this is, this is kind of cool. So uh, I kind of just started, you know, just posting my work and stuff on Facebook after that. And, you know, a lot of people do that nowadays. Like mm-hmm. I see a ton of great design on social media and Twitter and customs. And, um, but, you know, back in like 2009, 2010, I was like just getting on Twitter and kind of doing an early version of that or on Facebook and sending like friend requests to people and like doing a paint scheme on their car and sending it to them. And they're like, Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Uh, so, you know, that kind of was my first foray into to doing my own like design work and mm-hmm. actually going on race cars for real. Uh, out of the schemes that you've designed, do you have a favorite that's made it like on the track first? Or maybe one that didn't make it on the track? Um, favorite schemes. Um, I'd say like the 20 or the 2020 main and tail car. Uh, mm-hmm. I, that one, there's something about it. It's just so different. Um, but it also kind of has an old school feel at the same time, like the way that the, the stripes work around the car and and the the you know, yellow, blue, and white is I such a, I really love that color combination. Um, and then the I think Ryan Sieg's twenty twenty CMR car, mm-hmm. uh, the original one that had the silver door numbers on it. Uh, I I really loved that because I I love using like specialty vinyl and mm-hmm. you know I come from you know kind of doing stuff like uh, Dick did. And, you know, I used to work in sign shops and doing the car wraps and did a lot of short track cars and, you know, always using like chrome vinyl, fluorescence, metallics and stuff. So it's, it can be tough to do that in NASCAR, I'm finding out. But um, just the fact that like we were able to do that for like three races was really cool until they made us rip it off. <laughs> but I think mm-hmm. between those two, I was, I was just really, I was really proud of how this turned out. There, there were a lot of work to get, to get right. And, of course, you know, you're working with, with other people at the same time and you have to get mm-hmm. them to sign off. So, um, you know, it was just, a, it was a, it was a, a good process and, you know, it was a lot of work, but you know, when you, when it, when it looks on track, like it does in your mind and on the computer, it's, it's always a great time and a great, great. So now as a designer, is it, um, I guess this, this is one of the questions, but it just kind of popped into my head. Um, mm like that first time that you heard like maybe either a sponsor or someone else say this is good but i don't like it like as an art like is it does your the inner artist say well no this is good or do you kind of have that innate like no i'm expecting that not every single thing i do is going to be received with open arms because i know a couple of designers have said like they would say all these are great but then someone says no we just want to have blue or whatever yeah, I mean, I'd say that, yeah, a little bit, you know, you definitely do kind of, you might feel a little bit that way, but, you know, I just have to also remember that, like, it, this is, like, it is an art, but at the same time, it is, like, graphic mm-hmm. design, and graphic design does have rules, and, it, you know, it you do have to kind of go into things expecting that people might not like something, and they yeah. could possibly, they could be right about it, um, and, uh, but you just, you just kind of have to expect that, you know, mm-hmm. You can't make always make any, everybody happy, but um, you know if you can help them understand why you did something uh, yeah. like you did, that that can always go a long way. And just uh, you know, because you know the designer, you're the professional. You know, you're you're the one that they're coming to to help solve this design problem. And um, it, you know, if you, if you can, if you have something that you know looks good, uh, and you can help them understand why you did something, um, you know that, that that always can go a long way as well mm-hmm. in that process. <laughs> Uh, so what we always hear about differences between driving or crew chiefing Xfinity versus cup. Uh, but what about designing? Are there any differences that you face whenever you're going to, you know, Ryan Sieg versus uh, Starcom? Oh uh, yeah, there actually can be a bunch of differences. Um, what I've tended, what I've tended to like find out is, um, you know, working with cup teams, you tend to do a lot more full wraps on a lot of things. Um, and, uh, you know, of course that's covering the entire car. Um, and that normally allows you to do pretty much whatever you want design wise, uh, cause you're not limited to any part of the car. Um, and, uh, but with a lot of Xfinity cars, uh, we tend to sometimes do like half wraps where we're only, you know, the body is going to be a, a solid color and we're only going to do design work down the side. Um, but, you know, it can, it's just, it's a cost cutting measure. Um, a lot of Xfinity teams do it. Um, you know, Sieg's done it before, um, 
plenty of times and you know there's still ways to make it look good but um you definitely have to design a little bit differently because you are limited to just a side or you know having like you know not being able to like work around the fenders and you know kind of having to have like if you wanted to have something on the roof it, it would you know you have to have something completely separate down the side and it not interfere with the top and you know it's there's definitely a different process when you're having to work with things like that um i say that's probably the biggest one um of course the bodies are slightly different um mm -hmm. some things will work on the cup car that won't on the xfinity car and vice versa um so just the more familiar that you can get with uh with each um you know the better but uh that's probably the biggest difference is typically you, you do a little less side wrap or you do a little less full wrapping in xfinity at least in my my experience uh -huh. So for you, do you feel it like, do you, do you in, enjoy the freedom of having the, you know, okay, I can do a lot more on this cup car versus do you enjoy the freedom of, okay, I might be a little more basic, but I can really like make the basics pop on this car. Like, do you have a, a one you prefer? Um, I'd say I probably prefer the full wrap just because that allows you to a lot of the times get away from using like a white or a black base, which there are so many cars out there that have a white or black base. They can, they can kind of get lost when amongst each other. Um, it, you know, cause yeah, like so that just allows you to do all kind of things like that. Um, like for example, like on a uh, Maya Snyder's uh, Louisiana hot sauce mm -hmm. car, Xfinity car last year. Um, if we were going to do a full wrap, like I had an idea to do like a complete, like, like rebrand of the car like they've mostly been black like i was going to do like a red body um mm -hmm. with like you know a, like the like a fade to like yellow and like do something just a little different than normal um but you know in that case that that car um all year was just going to be side wraps um mm -hmm. so we just had the black body and just did the flames down the side and stuff like that it's still really nice but um you know whenever you can have like the freedom to like really go all out um i, I tend to enjoy that a little bit more uh, and finally, um, when you think favorite paint scheme of all time, uh, is there one or a few that just pop out as, as either memorable or as a designer, you sit there and think, crap, like, I don't know how they did that, or this is so brilliant or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to say, of course, um, Jeff Gordon's rainbow mm -hmm. car is definitely one of them. That's the one that caught my eye. That's one that caught so many other people's eyes that uh, are probably still fans now, like mm -hmm. because of it. Um, you know, that one's number one. I, Davey Allison's 1987 uh, Haviland car with the chrome gold painted numbers. I mean, that car is just beautiful. Um, I, I've seen a couple of illustrations of it, but uh, Ryan Williams, who designs for Junior Motorsports, he did this like really amazing illustration of that car and like to see it like that i was like yep this this is definitely like one of the best I've ever seen and and an honorable mention is uh also from the same year but alan kawicki's 87 zrx car mm -hmm. with the red z on the hood not the one that he won with at phoenix that has like the the color fade on it mm -hmm. uh but the original one that had the chrome rims um i just i love that car and um, like when I was younger, I really was like, I became really fascinated with this whole story and stuff. And like, uh -huh. that was, I remember seeing that car like a long time ago and it just really stuck with me how like striking it was, um, with like the, the red, the red bars down the side and like mm -hmm. the Xerix going sideways, um, up the quarter panel. And that, like that, that's a good one. That's kind of a, one you don't really hear about much, but mm -hmm. it, it's, it's up here for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ryan, I appreciate you joining me today. Um, if the viewers want to learn more about you or your design, how can uh, or where can they find you online? Um, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, I'm at Ryan Daily Designs on all of those. Um, yeah, come check me out. I uh, will give you a follow back. And uh, yeah, come hang out. And um, that's the spring retreat by me. <laughs> I'll be hanging out there. <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining us today, Ryan. Awesome, man. I really appreciate having me on.